you know, a lot of us squad was brought around getting these spring rocks and five of them out would have been, we would have been under pressure. There are a lot of sort of consequence, you know, good fallout of the World Cup. It was very hard for them starting to play back into Super Rugby and I think just for their own mental well-being and their physical recovery. It's probably turned out to be a little bit of a blessing. I like that, but worrying signs for the storm is here, Kulisi down and back play. How do we look? So the first game of Super Rugby, I uh, played at uh, Dinchel Newlands um, against the Hurricanes. I got a knee injury. They have a serious injury for Bongi and Manambi as well. I can tell you in advance, probably, probably his hamstring hurt there at the right foot got stuck. Uh, my injury happened in the first game of uh, Super Rugby against the Hurricanes. I mean, it would appear that Hershaw Yankees may have a fracture. I fractured my, my, my left leg um, against the final game before, just before the lockdown started. Thank you. Doesn't look happy there. I think it hurt just pick as he was going down. The last couple of minutes against the Sharks, um, tore my pick. Um, basically, got a grade three, got an operation. Um, yeah, started rehab literally during lockdown. Worrying signs as Peter Steff, the toy, leaves the field. He's been replaced by Kubis Visa. Yeah, so I injured my upper leg the 29th of Feb in the Blues game. I got two repeated knocks in the same spot and it formed like a blood clot almost and there wasn't drainage for the blood to go in my leg. So I had to go in for a, quite a big operation at night. You could see coming back from his pec tear and uh, Bongi from his hamstring tear. And then Herschel's doing well after his foot with a fracture. He's been integrated last week with a um, non-contact uh, training. And he will also be integrated once we get clearance uh, for, for contact training. Uh, Sia has also been uh, in good stead. He's been training with the team. And um, I think we're all just excited to, to get bet on the, the park again. They are really showing um, high speeds on the field and working in their pods um, and really bringing the energy on the field. I think Peter's not going to miss much. Um, you know, we obviously don't know when we start, but we're talking. I think I think we're talking a week or two, possibly. Uh, hopefully, not long, but not more than that. He's made some real progress with that left leg over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> what is really good for us is that that the way we finished with two defeats before lockdown. Yeah, I think if we burgled, and it would have been a burglary, a victory against the Sharks in Durban, we wouldn't have gone to anything like the same sort of introspection in terms of how we play, lots of technical aspects of our game, some of our cultural stuff, how we train. And I think that's been great. And then it's allowed us to come up with these ideas, examine it, allowed the players to do the same, allowed us to sort of get together with it's virtually, you know, to discuss these ideas with the players. Very exciting, Dave and, and Dobbo and Norm and, and Shimmy and Rito have been doing a lot of work behind the scenes. Um, you can see it in their prep and in the way they focus on, on what they want to achieve in, in the upcoming competitions. Obviously amazing seeing all the guys again and being able to be on the field with the guys. I mean, you can see the, the attitude in training and how the guys are, are around each other. I think the guys miss each other a lot. Coming back from injury, I've done it so much in the past. Um, I'm quite used to it. I've been through so many injuries. So I know the road you have to go. It's a, it's a lonely road, but I like, like pushing myself and testing myself against, against myself. Hopefully we can just carry on with the momentum we had um, before the lockdown started and hopefully we can play some quality rugby. Yeah, just being around the boys and actually doing what we love, doing what you get uh, paid to do. I know the coolest side that I'm looking forward to that. Obviously it's going to test our, ch our lungs and our fitness level. But yeah, it will be good to get people on the field, put on the jersey and, and, and like suffer for one another. So I think we're going to see quite a different team in a really positive way when we get back on the field. And, uh, you know, and we weren't dreadful before. But I think we're going to be a substantially better outfit than we were before lockdown.